Board Chair of 211 Broward and VP. Governmental Policy and Regulatory Affairs of Broward College, Gregory Hill. And President and CEO of 211 Broward, Sheila Smith. Lynn talked about a teleprompter, the last thing I want to do is look at one. So I'm just going to say welcome. Thank you for joining us today at the second annual Nonprofit Academy Awards presented by 211 Broward and generously hosted by the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. This event is so special. It celebrates and honors the achievements and the inspiring work of so many of Broward County's nonprofit agencies and outstanding nonprofit leaders. Bank Atlantic has had a long time commitment to the nonprofit organizations in Broward County. We truly believe in giving back to our community, not only the, with money, but also with the quality of time and effort. The Bank Atlantic Foundation was funded and founded in 1994, our mission being to enhance the quality of life in South Florida. The foundation reaches out to the children and families in need. It provides arts and cultural exposure to the broader community, supports education, and sponsors a wide scope of nonprofit organizations, charitable causes, in support of our community. We are so proud to sponsor and partner with the 211 Broward. Their work is Broward County's only 24-hour comprehensive helpline and support services for those individuals in our community who are seeking crisis intervention assistance and our information and referrals to the Health and Human Services in Broward County. I think we all agree it's just amazing to see how many people they touch. We salute their entire team for their wonderful work they, they do on a daily basis and congratulate them on organizing today's event. So thank you and let the awards begin. Thank you very much, Chuck. Uh, I have served as, I've been blessed to serve as chair for the last year and a half or so. And I can tell you so vividly, I remember when, with, when this was just an idea. It was a concept that we tried to figure out how to bring to fruition. And I'll tell you, I had no idea that by the time we got around to year two, we'd have a third performance on the stage. Um, so you don't get that type of evolution without everyone playing a significant role in the organization. That goes from the staff, at every level, from the accounting department, HR, certainly the board, uh, and of course, Sheila Smith and Lori Salarulo, who have played a tremendous role of bringing this organization to the and, and just to emphasize this great board that we actually have, I'm, I'm very lucky to be serving with them because I promise you, in the years that I've served on this board, I have never ever seen anything get in the way of the mission of this organization, of spreading the word and making sure that every member in the community is aware of us and knows that they can use 211 as a resource. So please, an applause for the board of this organization. I'd like to recognize some of our officials who are here today. We have uh, Broward County Commissioner Barbara Sharif. Broward County Commissioner Lois Wexler. As we've already introduced, Broward County Sheriff Alan Birdie. City of Weston Commissioner Jim Norton. Broward County Public School Board Member Donna Korn. Another County School Board Member, school board member Robin Bartleman. and Broward Health Commissioner Rhonda Calhoun. Really briefly, the, uh, the, the reason for this event really is, is twofold uh, in my heart and mind. One is to make sure that we bring attention to all the organizations in the community that are serving. Uh, it's important that everyone here get educated on these organizations. Some of them you will certainly have heard of, some of them you will not, but hopefully by the end of the afternoon in this event, you'll know a lot more about the organizations that are serving this community. But the second aspect of why we're here is really to celebrate the leadership in the nonprofit community in Broward County. 
These are individuals who spend their time and have dedicated their lives to service in this community. Uh, that is not something that comes very easily and is often the type of thing that goes without much fanfare. And probably most profoundly is that the people who are leaders here and being recognized today, they do it without the expectation of anything in return. And that's why this event is so important, because it really gives you an opportunity to please beat your chest today. We will beat it for you. We want you to be recognized and take great pride in the work that you are doing. You deserve it, I promise you. So thank you for doing what you're doing, and thank you all for the support that you've given this organization. Good afternoon. 211 is so proud to present this event and to recognize and thank the nonprofits in our community. We would like to congratulate sincerely all of this year's winners, nominees, and applicants. It's also my privilege to be able to thank our partners today. Bank Atlantic has a long traditioning of, tradition of honoring and supporting nonprofits. They sponsored the first awards event last year, and it's been a tremendous partnership over the last couple of years. We're so fortunate to have them back on and this year as the title sponsor. Thank you, Bank Atlantic. This year we also owe a special thank you to the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino for joining us as the host sponsor. After being involved in last year's event, Seminole Hard Rock knew that this was an event they wanted to host. Have they created an, event, an Academy Awards atmosphere here or what? Isn't this fantastic? I would also like to say a very, very special thank you to the co-chairs of today's event who have worked extraordinarily hard in, in really presenting a, a special event today. Marcia Berry-Smith, Jen Clausens, and Susan Renison. Uh, lastly, I'd be remiss if I didn't say um, a special thank you to the incredible staff at 211, especially to Lori Salarulo, Christina Page, and Cassandra McClary. They have really been the ones to put together this amazing event. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the hottest party-throwing divas in South Florida. This year's co-chairs, Jen Closen, Marcia Barry-Smith, and Susan Renison. Also known as Salt and Pepper. members of the Academy and, and my parents and, 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 and my, my guardian angel and Marcia, it's not all about you, you know. It's about the nonprofits here in the room. But before yeah. we get there, just want to say none of this would have been possible without the support of so many, making this an incredible event. Most importantly, we have to thank our sponsors. Their support and participation is a testimony to their commitment here in the community of supporting our nonprofits. Today's sponsors have embraced the event and they're here to celebrate the nonprofit leaders and the organizations that contribute to improving the lives of our residents here in Broward County. Is this me? Of course it's not on my monitor. Solved. That's you saw. We have monitors. <laughs> that don't apparently yes, work. Okay. Where's now it? it's moving. Lynn, could you come up here and teach us how to work the monitors, please? Okay. All right, Susan, each award today has been named by a sponsor that felt a strong commitment to the values and accomplishment of the nonprofit leaders and organizations. We'd like to thank AutoNation. Yes, let's hear it. Berger Singerman. Broward College. 
Kathleen Giordano and Associates. OK Generators. <laughs> Patriot National Insurance Group. And the Wasi Foundation. This year's Community Choice Award is sponsored by an organization that is so supportive to so many in our community. Thank you, Publix. Yeah. And thank you to Broad Health for sponsoring that fabulous VIP reception. And, and Steve Saver for opening up your estate. Steve there, was that a party or what? Thank you, Memorial Health Care System, for presenting today's red carpet presentation. That too was quite a reception. Did you see all of the things that were in the lobby? That was quite a reception. <laughs> we are fortunate to have so many partners on today's event. Please direct your attention to the screens and recognize and thank them for their support, please. As a board member of 211 Broward, I would like to say a special thank you to our partners that continue throughout the year their support. Thank you, Broward County. Thank you, Children's Services Council. Thank you, Department of Children and Families. Thank you, United Way, and thank you, Broward Sheriff's Office. And have you seen the coverage that our media partners mm -hmm. gave to us? Mm -hmm. Wow. Please thank these partners for featuring the nonprofit awards. We had television after television and print. Thank you all so much. Quite an impressive list of sponsors that we have here today, isn't it? Uh, this event was created to pay tribute to the nonprofit organizations that work so hard to make a difference in our community. These days we are asking them to do more with less, and yet somehow they find innovative ways to provide the services our residents so desperately need. Thank you. You know, I, I'm not sure just how often our honored guests hear those two simple words. So we thought today would be the perfect day to do just that. Would every staff member of a nonprofit please stand so we can recognize you. apply for the Bank Atlantic Nonprofit Academy Awards. These organizations are highlighted in your program, so we hope you'll take the opportunity to read your program and to learn more about the miracles that they create in people's lives every day. Before we go any further with the presentations, we'd like to bring up the McGladry Accounting Firm, Mr. Mike Walter and Mr. Joey Epstein, to say a couple words about how this whole thing was put together. Gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> and by the way, Kim, I'm sorry the sheriff took the handcuffs back. <laughs> All right, sorry. You know, normally as an accounting firm, when we certify one of these type of events, Usually there's just a picture of us holding the briefcase and smiling. However, we are an auditing firm, and when I heard something earlier today, we really thought we had to come back up and speak for a second. And I think the quote was, the accounting nerds, or something along the lines of nerds. So I have to set the record straight. At McGladry, we are not nerds, believe it or not. Um, but no, I appreciate that. But we are very thankful to be a part of this event. Uh, the hard work, and we work a great degree, you know, being the fifth largest accounting firm in the United States and very focused in Broward, we are very focused and work a lot with not-for-profits, and when we work so closely with all of you, it's really inspiring. So thank you all for making a difference in every day in people's lives. It means a lot to us as well. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. 
October began the race for the Nonprofit Academy Awards. 211 Broward released a call to nominations in seven categories. Thank you for all of those who submitted applications. All qualifying applications were reviewed and scored by a panel of impartial judges from South Florida. The judges were chosen for their knowledge in the nonprofit sector, the role of nonprofits in our community, and an understanding of effective nonprofit management and leadership. We would like to thank the following community leaders for giving up a lot of their time to read and rate all 97 applications. Do you believe that? 97. So thank you very, very much, and please help me thank this year's judges. Jalusa Calabaro from Toshiba Business Solutions, Jula Ferguson, President, Donors Forum of South Florida, Betsy Kesselbaum, President, Center for Strategic Philanthropy and Civic Engagement, and Sharon Sullivan, a nonprofit consultant. Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen. That was a lot of work, very impressive. Let me tell you, the judges did not have an easy time selecting the nominees for this year's event, but the beautiful part of today's event that everybody is a winner. Everybody that submitted an application has the opportunity to be eligible for the Public's Community Choice Award. The Public's Community Choice Award winner will receive a $1,000 check to their organization. We opened the voting process one month ago, and as of today, many of you were out in the lobby voting. We have over 10,000 votes that were casted. Outstanding. We will announce the winner at the end of the program, but not to uh, keep you guys' anticipation any longer. The moment you all have been waiting for has arrived. Has arrived. Has arrived. The announcement of the Nonprofit Academy Awards. To present the Wasey Foundation Nonprofit Academy Award for Advocacy, please welcome Jen Closens, VP of Programs for the Wasey Foundation and last year's Nonprofit Academy Award winner, Nancy Botero, representing Broward College Foundation. It's me again, surprise. Um, on behalf of the Wasey Foundation, I am pleased and honored to present the Wasi Foundation Nonprofit Organization of the Year for Advocacy. The definition of advocacy is, I forgot for one second, <laughs> to speak <laughs> or plead in favor of a cause. And that is really the reason why the Wasi Foundation is proud to present this honor because we are the voice for so many of the nonprofits in the room today. And Nancy's gonna do the honor and privilege of announcing the nominees. Thank you, Jen. The nominees this year are Forever Family, <laughs> Lauren's Kids, and Lighthouse of Broward. And I just had a cheat because I don't even know the winner. And the winner is Lighthouse of Broward. Stepping for the Lighthouse of Broward is Ellie Dupree. Oh, here comes Ellie. Thank you very much for recognizing the Lighthouse of Broward advocacy for full inclusion in houses of worship and the halls of commerce. Lighthouse professional staff, board members, and business leaders share our vision that people who are blind or visually impaired contribute as full partners in their families, school, work, and community. What does that really mean? Forty years ago, I knew a young blind kid starting at Harvard. He was armed with the best technology of the day, an electric typewriter and a long white cane, and faith that he wasn't out there all alone. Today he is Rabbi Dennis Schulman, an internationally recognized psychologist, ordained rabbi, 
and New Jersey's 5th Congressional District Democratic nominee. His wife plans for him to be sworn in on his Hebrew Braille Bible. Check him out on YouTube. There's a lot of success stories here in Broward County. Thank you very much. To present the Patriot National Insurance Group Nonprofit Academy Award for Innovation, please welcome John Brandt and the 2011 Nonprofit Academy Award winner Shelley Gorin, representing Gilda's Club. On behalf of our CEO, Steve Mariano, it's my pleasure to be here today to present the Patriot National Insurance Innovative of the Year Award. At Patriot, we did not become Florida's largest workers' compensation company. We did by accident. We did so by creating and being innovative in all the products that we offered in the workers' compensation market. As a result, we're proud and very honored to be part and be able to nominate or announce the three nominations for the three community organizations that use innovation in their own organizations. So the nominees for the Nonprofit Innovation of the Year Award are Flight Center, Una de España or Hispanic Unity, and the Russell Life Skills and Reading Foundation. And the winner is, for the Innovation of the Year Award, Flight Center. Accepted for Flight Center is Christine Gurris. organizations like the Junior League of Greater Fort Lauderdale, the United Way, Community Foundation, ChildNet, Children's Services Council, Broward County, Workforce One, Jim Moran Foundation, flight could not be possible. So thank you to my staff who's here, does such hard work every day, and to all the providers that we work with, because the kids are going to be so excited when they see this when I get home. So thank you. Thank you. 